Hey, YouTube. So I got a little errand to run. Uh, my son, Charlie. Uh, say hi, Charlie. Hey. Charlie's in the car. We're headed to the bus station. He's going back to Georgia Tech. And um, this drive to the bus station actually is a great FSD version 11 uh, drive because it has a little bit of um, city streets and that merge on the I-10, I-95 on the highway. So it's a great little route for that. So I figured I'd turn the cameras on. We do a little Charlie reaction cam. Okay. Um, this is version 11.3.3 that came early this morning. I've already put out my Memorial Park first impressions drive. So if you haven't seen that and you're interested in a little bit longer form video, uh, check that out. I've also posted some content on Twitter about the release notes and things like that. But anyway, we're starting out here with the unprotected right-hand turn at the uh, unprotected turn location. You see the creep network and it's wide open. So it should give a, okay, full stop there and let's see what the boost looks like right here. Yeah, that was a fine merge. Not overly boosted there, but um, it jumped on without the need to use boost because there were really no cars coming. What did you think of that one? Yeah, it, easy. it just did it. Yeah, it did it. Kind of stopped for a second there at that creep limit before it committed. I probably would have rolled it, but... Um, Safe and sorry, I guess. Yeah. All right. So, so far, my impressions of this software from this morning's drive is that this will probably go wide release, probably fairly quickly, hopefully today, maybe tomorrow. Um, the little issues I did see on uh, version 11.3.2 definitely seem to have gotten a little bit better. Um, it's a solid build. Um, the stack is, is, is really improving. There are definitely some issues still, but it, it's not uh, a step change other than the way the high, highway stack is integrated now. When you look at this screen, Charlie, you actually hadn't been in the car on this. Do you recognize any differences? Do you remember? There used to be red on the side of the screen here for the edges, and that's gone away. They've put some notifications up at the top here. Like right here in a second, you're probably going to see a sign that says stopping for traffic control. Up in the top center as we stop for this light. And there we go. Nice decel there. The visualization showing the deceleration with the chevrons. Stop line. I've noticed a few people on Twitter this morning commenting about how, I think Elon even commented on it this morning, that uh, that uh, brake lights and turn signals are all being seen. And I've seen that already. You can see that little blinker there is showing on that car uh, right in front of me at the moment. Um, okay, going through a flashing yellow here, it should proceed without slowing down too much other than for the car in front here. The cone's going to freak it out. Did pretty good. Not really. Pretty smooth. Um, but Elon did make a comment this morning, which will be very exciting to see. Um, I think he was talking to Eli about um, being able to hear emergency vehicles and uh, render them on the screen. So turn signals. He even made a comment that we were going to be able to see hand gestures. And that happened to me this morning where I had a bike interaction where the biker stopped and the car stopped and we were just kind of standing there and the biker waved me through and then I proceeded. Um, that. You can imagine the scenario at a four-way stop sign also. Sometimes there's a little hand gesturing that humans use when we, when we talk to each other. That'd about be impressive if you had the windshield. Though. Exactly. I know. Um, obviously, we can see it. So theoretically, the cameras should be able to see it. A little bit of skittishness with this truck right here next to me. I felt the brake tap a little bit. But more importantly, I don't know if you watched close enough, you can see the car was biasing to the left side of the lane to give that truck as much room as possible. There's an Iconic right next to us. Iconic. Yeah, the little Hyundai. It may have been Ionic. Oh, is it Ionic? So. I'm sorry, I did. I said <laughs> Iconic, that's why Charlie laughed at me, the Ionic. Sometimes going the speed limit feels painfully slow, doesn't it? On the street especially. Yeah, because the cars don't go the speed limit at all. Uh, I'd say at least 50, 55, and here we are going 45. It's kind of a big debate on whether or not going five over, you know, 
is more safe than illegal or more illegal than safe but we'll just leave it. I, I have the profile for this beta um, scenario where I don't have the, the uh, turn signal indicators on or the displays and I also uh, have the speed limit speed limit set to the exact without any sort of overrides that was actually a good lane change for what's coming up and I'm not sure if it did that thinking all the way ahead about the lane that you want to be in for this uh, highway merge but it was a good choice if it stays here because this far right lane here in this scenario is a right turn only so it does need to be either in the middle or the left lane at the moment So as we come over this hill, there's a couple of traffic signals that are kind of blind until you get around the turn. And they're actually just traffic signals that say continue straight. It actually doesn't turn, um, change colors. It's just a green light. But occasionally it, it's um, kind of paused for it a little bit. Because right now you can see the blinking left arrow, but that's not for us. That's for the lane to the left. A little bit of a slowdown there for that truck included with the green arrow straight ahead it felt like it slowed down a little bit too much to me what'd you think there yeah yeah I think it kind of freaked out the car behind. yeah that, that that is a reality you know the car behind didn't see why i needed to slow down this car jumped in front of me here and i thought it reacted just about right now we've got a big truck that it does not like to go right next to you're probably going to be see some left lane biasing here yeah it it navigated that just fine with the exception of maybe a little bit of an aggressive brake tap there. Now this is the part where the old FSD stack on version 10 would switch from city streets into the regular old navigator and autopilot. Um, I'm actually going 45 here because it is the speed limit. Uh, now you just see it just bumped up to 50. You're probably going to start seeing cars pass us because this is getting ready to be the merge on I-10, I-95 and the cars like to kind of be going kind of in the 50s you see these cars on the right he's going to go right around me there's also a navigation thing with some of the maps that i've seen like google maps will tell you oh you're going on the stock to things yeah but you're not going on the stock to things that's true Let, let's see how this uh what this looks like here after we get the merge we can kind of peek at the route and see what it's doing it's it's doing the full yeah, the same stock to yep and then it says oh no, right. okay all right, we've got a very easy merge scenario if it wants to merge. Except for that car came way over, didn't he? Yep. <laughs> Without a blinker on, but it, he stayed in his lane. And I think it feels like it's going to stay in this lane. I don't see any uh, lane changes happening. Now, this is also where the speed limit is too slow. Yep. Um, I don't think I've ever been this slow on this part. Yeah, because the cars are coming off of an interstate, although it is the speed limit at this merge. It's just... Uncomfortable, going 60 or 70. uncomfortably slow. I don't have anyone right on my rear end right now. They're going around me, so I'm just going to kind of leave it. But you can definitely see them lapping me. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to add five here just because the cars behind me are coming up a little bit. And there it slowed down to 45. If you see that, that's just not correct. You can't go that slow. 35. Yeah, look at the speed limit. It's going 55 now, but it, the speed limit it's indicated is 35. So that's underlying map data that just creates problems. That was a good lane change because it does need that up here in a second. Yeah, should come on around. So this is where I think going too slow can be dangerous. Um, it, just because these big interchanges between interstates, the lane, you know, we're going to be like, if you count every single lane on both sides, it's like 10 lanes, maybe even 12 lanes, because we've got three here, they've got three, and you got three, uh, six on the other side, so we total of 12 lanes uh, moving both directions here. Okay. 
still has a speed of 45 designated, which is just not right. It's doing 50 because of the, uh, the roll up I did. Yeah, and we're taking this exit here and it should uh, do it just fine. Yeah, so it's recommending 30, and here it's going to do the decel here. It's going to do it based on the on the on the curve. Yeah. So now we've got a little bit of fancy navigation here. We'll see how it does here. See, we've switched back to city streets mode, but the screen stayed the same. I'm just showing the map. Okay, no. wants to go right here. No blinker, no blinker. Never do. There's a blinker as I'm already turning. So way late on the blinker. Got some construction going on here. There's a blinker. I've got the green. I've got the right of way and it did that. Got some cones up here. I'm not sure what to expect if it's going to be able to jump in. I think it will. See if it's okay next to these cones. It's doing all right. They did it. So as we um, see, it'll, it should go all the way into the parking lot here. Let's see if it does it. Now, so now going into the parking lot, we're now kind of going off road a little bit. It's really not designed for this yet, but it's probably going to get to a point. It's going to turn right here. Right in front of a electric vehicle park. <laughs> yeah, they have some public uh, chargers here. It's just going to the dot on the map though, right? So. I'm just letting it do its thing here. I don't know where it's going. It did. It said navigation complete. Oh, oh. Over there. Is it going to put it in park? No, it's just going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, but so I don't know, Charlie, I didn't disengage at all. Yeah, it was, good. it was almost a robo taxi. I mean, there were some speed things there that I think need to get fixed, but let me stop talking. what do you think? I mean, there were a few things that were like, there's a certain level of driving that you can only get after driving in an area for a while. So like somebody that maybe have never driven in this region before may have done that same little aggressive break at that green arrow, just as like, oh, I don't know what's happening here. So I feel like the only thing that could have improved in this drive was just familiarity with the route. Like what you talked about with the speeds as well. Like that's not necessarily something that can be, I mean, it probably could be programmed, but like. Yeah, the underlying map data there just needs to not say 45. But since we've driven here for so long, we know that the, yeah. the speed to go here is this speed. And we know that this green arrow thing is this green arrow. So the car is going to need to consciously recognize the flow of traffic and decide, do I go the speed limit or do I pretty much stay with the flow of traffic, which it can perceive. It can see the cars going around us. So that's the only way I know how to do it is to have some sort of flow of traffic setting uh, in order to, to keep people. There's no doubt it can see people approaching you from the rear. Um, but anyway, that was your first drive on uh, FST version 11. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, YouTube, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks, Charlie, for the, uh, the commentary. Yeah. See you next time.